Jean? Jean? Ano na ba? And you know what that means? Fashion night! For today's episode, we're gonna talk about capsule wardrobe. That's right, capsule wardrobe. Ano nga ba yan? At ano yung mga benefits ng pagkakaroon ng capsule wardrobe? Well, pag-uusapan natin yan, pero teka lang. Teka lang muna. Kung hindi pa po kayo nakapag-subscribe sa aming YouTube channel, well, ito na po. Subscribe na po kayo. At yung aming Facebook page, pwede nyo rin po i-like. At paki-turn on din yung notifications para ma-notify kayo tuwing nagpo-post kami ng mga videos. And, we also have our own website, tryphmedia.com. Go ahead and check out the complete list of all our shows here at TryPH. Alright, <laughs> on to the video. So, Ano nga ba yung capsule wardrobe? Well, ito yung pagda-downsize ng mga damit na meron tayo. Kasi minsan, o madalas pa nga, lalo na kung mahilig tayong bumili ng mga damit, hindi natin namamalayan na sobrang dami na pala nila. Diba? Hindi ko bang puputok na yung cabinet mo, sobrang dami. So, ano pwede natin gawin? Well, dyan papasok ang capsule wardrobe. Find clothes that you always use and keep it at the minimum. Pero, Paano mo pipiliin kung ano yung mga i-keep mo at kung ano yung mga i-dispatcha mo? Step number one! To build the perfect wardrobe, you need to consider what your current lifestyle is and your current body type. Paano natin malalaman yan? Pagpagating sa lifestyle, isipin mo kung ano yung madalas mong puntahan. Ano yung palagi yung pinupuntahan? Ano yung palagi yung ginagawa? Okay mga katry! Importante na yung wardrobe mo meron mga damit for every part of your life. A.K.A. the clothes you wear when you go out during the day. Siyempre, you need to have pieces that will be enough for the entire work week. Siguro okay lang naman mag-ulog ng mga pieces. Or if you have versatile items on hand, pwede ka mag-mix and match para hindi naman magmukhang uniform na sa Okay, how about when you're not working? Where do you usually go? And do these places allow casual wear or casual outfits? O baka naman, it requires a particular set of clothes. Well, kahit ano pa yan, lahat yan ilagay mo sa isang pile so you can see if you have enough for the entire week without repeating combinations. You know what? Jeans are great because they go with everything. Just like sneakers. And some jeans are considered office casual. So you can have up to three pairs in your wardrobe, in your capsule. Uh, iba iba yung mga colors para magmukha siyang iba iba yung mga ginagamit mo at hindi lang mukhang three pairs lang talaga yung meron ka. Diba? Keep in mind though that the outfits you put in your pile should be appropriate for the weather. So, syempre, pag malamig yung weather, pag malamig yung susunod yung Like jackets. Keep your jackets, keep your cardigans and such. At kapag mainit naman yung weather, syempre. So, check clothes that you have and see if they still fit you now. Ano, bagay pa ba sa'yo yan? O baka maluwag na? Baka masikip? Bitin? Baka may kupas na, or may damage. Anything that no longer works for you now should be put in a separate pile. Huwag mo nang ipilit. Pero kung may sentimental value siya, at gusto mo talagang gawing goal na pagkasayin siya ulit sa'yo, then you can keep it, but keep it somewhere na palagi mo siyang may kita. Para malala mo na, uy, talagang ito pala yung sumutin ulit. Kasi otherwise, matatambak lang. Pero kung wala ng pag-asa, then maybe it's time to say goodbye. Ay, kawewa. So you can put that in one pile na pwede mo ipag-giveaway, i-hand down, 
or so. Because by removing the clothes that no longer look good on you, actually frees up closet space for clothes that do. Ibig sabihin, maluwag na siya. <laughs> Pwede ka na ulit mag-shopping. Okay, so this is just to give you an idea of what you should have in your pile. For tops, you should have t-shirts, blouses, shirts, knitted tops, and other tops. <laughs> Tank tops and spaghetti straps and such. Over tops like cardigans, sweaters, jackets, and coats. And for the bottoms, mm, pants, skirts. Shorts and jeans. You need anywhere between 36 to 40 pieces of clothes for your everyday needs. Anything that is no longer essential or no longer fits your body type or your lifestyle, pwede mo nang i-dispatch siya. At yung mga pang special occasions naman like gowns, costumes, and Filipinianas and such, you can keep them but keep them in a safe place. Always make sure that they're clean, they're far from anay, from the hippies, from the insects. <laughs> Para maiwasan natin yung mga damages. So the best thing you can do is to sell them. Kasi napakarami na ngayon na mga tao na nagbebenta ng mga pre-love shops. Madalas nga online. At doon nila binibenta yung mga clothes na hindi na nila ginagamit pero pwede pang gamitin na mga. In fact, Pero tayong isa sa mga katry natin na nagtayo ng kanyang sariling free love shop online. Let's watch this! Hi mga katry! I'm Valerie Omusni. You can call me Val Musni. Paano nga ba ako nag-start ng free love shop page ko? Ang mga katry, I try live selling. After the live selling, I post the product on my page. Para yung mga hindi nakapanood ng live, makita pa nila yung mga binibenta ko. People start buying it. After that, I started to make the page. My pre-love shop. We are like an online ukay ukay. And I want my page to be easy to pronounce, easy to recall, and easy to remember for my customer. At first, mga katry, mahirap talaga siya. Dahil limited lang yung pwede kumabenta. Tsaka, every business has its own struggles. Mga katry, we assure that we properly disinfect every product before shipping it out. So, tinutulungan ko si mama magtinda sa sari-sari store namin. I want you to know that having a page is so much fun. Kung interested kayo sa mga pre-love, visit my pre-love shop page. Uh, like and follow the page. Join to my giveaway. I'm going to post it soon, the mechanics. O oh, ba Ang sipag ng ating katry na si Dal. Nag-open siya ng sarili niyang online free love shop. Tapos, gumawa pa siya ng sarili niyang FB page para makita ng mga tao. Siyempre! So, kung gusto niyo bisitahin yung kanyang free love shop, pwede niyo pong i-click yung link na nasa taas. Alright! Salamat po mga katry. I hope you enjoyed this episode. At alam ko po na... <laughs> Last week po, sinabi ko na meron tayong interviewin na, na isang katry natin na fashion expert. Pero nagkaroon lang ng slight problem. But rest assured, she'll be here next week. Abangan nyo na lang yan. Alright? So, I'll see you next week guys! Bye-bye po!